Hi, I'm Linda Hayes and welcome to Top Horse. Today we're going to be talking about how to saddle your show pony. So I've got Cole Beach Aristocrat here with me, which is Archie, and we're going to saddle him as if we were going into a show. He's a riding pony gelding. So for my riding ponies, I like to use what we term a woolen sheepskin or numna. There are two particular types you can use. For Archie, because he is a bigger type of pony, I like to use a full sheepskin. These sheepskins I've had made for their saddles. They are real wool. They have a seam around the edge. I like to have a very neat, probably half inch, hang out from the back of my saddle. Make sure when you get these that they are one complete skin so you don't have a seam in the middle anywhere that can rub the horse when you're riding it. And when you saddle, make sure that this seam here is not big and lumpy. The people that make these for me have been doing them for years and do a great job. The other sheepskin is called a tombstone. It's a smaller version of the same and you look for all the rest of it. I would use this on one of my smaller ponies so that the saddle and the sheepskin don't look too big on them. So for this particular horse, I like to use a full sheepskin. The reason for that is he's a, a bigger pony um, and I just feel it gives him a better look. This other sheepskin, which is called a tombstone, is a lot smaller and as you can see, a totally different look. I'd suggest you take photos of your horse with either one on and see which one you like and which one suits your horse. With all of my sheepskins, I do keep them clean. Um, I don't hang them out in the sun to dry because they are a wool, so treat them as you would a woolen jumper. You can dry clean them, just be a little bit careful that the dry cleaning fluid is well and truly dry and aired out of them. Um, my particular saddle of choice that I like with this horse is an old fashioned county. For the show ring, I like a white girth. And then when we're putting the saddle on, slowly slide everything over. Make sure that you adjust your sheepskin so that it is neat and tidy all the way around the saddle, evenly, so that you've got just that little roll all the way around. Go around and check the other side to check that it's even as well. Pull it up into the middle of your saddle so as not to have it pulling down hard on the horse's shoulders so they can still move. Now, my particular thing with my saddle placement, I like the saddle to sit a little bit further back so that we show off the lovely big front of the horse. The way I usually do that is as I'm saddling up, I'll do up the saddle. And before I go out, I usually stand back and have a look and see where it's sitting on the horse's back. See if it's in the middle. And usually it's a good hand behind here. Then I will tighten up the girth slowly so as not to cause him a fright or have any accidents. The one thing that you do need to do before you go out into the ring is once you've done this is just check your girth again that it is firm enough because nothing's worse than going out in the ring and having a loose saddle. Uh, apart from that, just check everything's nice and neat and tidy as again this saddle blanket was made for this saddle so it all sits very easily. I personally like to use a brown on this horse because of his colouring. Uh, it gets down to personal preference again. You can use cream, white, black, all sorts of colours. But my preference is to blend in with the horse so that when you're looking at the horse or judging him, you're looking more at the horse and not what gear you've got on him. So remember, once you finish saddling, you've done your shark's teeth, you've done your makeup, you're bridled and you're in your clothes, always stand back, have a really good constructive look at your horse because that's the first thing and the last thing that your judge is going to see. So happy riding and make sure it's all right.